Good morning, everybody, on a Wednesday morning. Uh, let's go ahead and start this day with, where's my dog? Anyways, two miles, um, and hopefully we have no interruptions today. <laughs> and I'll see you when we get back. Well, there she is, all right, let's go. Ooh, good morning, everybody. 5.40 a.m., two miles in the books. Oh man, today we took out the little headlamp situation on the beanie and actually worked out pretty well. Put it on the low setting and uh, surprisingly it was a lot brighter than I expected. But then again, I'm coming from a place of not using any light source at all and had no interruptions. Alrighty, today I am excited about this one. Um, today I wanna to talk about igniting joy uh, in running. Um, so the practical side is, um, you know, <laughs> got to bed, had a decent time, but the sleep quality just was not there. I think I can remember waking up at least four times, um, <laughs> and one time was, um, let's see, we have one of these old fashioned alarms that, uh, plays music, you know, it's like the old, like 1980s version alarm clock with the like snooze bar that's this big. Um, well, um, either me or one of the kids or somebody like set the alarm to music at like 4.30 this morning <laughs> and it went off. Uh, my wife told me that uh, she was not super thrilled with that because she had finally fallen asleep. So <laughs> an hour later, no, half an hour later I was up and out. Anyways, I'm, I'm running and you know, I can't say that I'm fully hydrated. I can't say that I'm fully rested. And I definitely can't say that these are the optimal circumstances. But I woke up, put on all my stuff, grabbed the dog, got out there, and it wasn't until about three quarters of the way through the run that I finally started to wake up and like this just dawned on me. It is gratefulness and joy and just happiness to be um, alive and up and moving and interacting with this world in this way. Um, I can think of plenty of times where I have, um, you know, been tired and, you know, woken up several times and then, uh, you know, failed to get up in time because, you know, my alarm was going off and I thought that I deserved the extra sleep because of the, the struggle that I was going through. Um, <laughs> well, usually what that would result in is me um, leaving the house late for work, leaving the house late for class, getting there, having to rush there, and just this whole dither of activity to arrive at, in, in a very frantic manner. Um, and it just kind of lingers throughout the day versus just getting up and, and getting moving and calling it what it is and maybe trying better later. I have noticed a big change in my overall disposition now that we're, you know, what, uh, 13, 14 days into this running challenge. Um, nothing else has changed. Nothing else in life has changed. The only thing that's changed is me uh, doing this on a consistent basis. And so my outlook is very joyful. Um, little things don't irritate me. Uh, I just feel more awake, more grounded, more of everything. It's, it's really nice. Um, you know, and the activity that I chose was, was running. Um, you know, we can get into the practical side of why I feel running is, is, was a good choice for me later, but I'm talking about joy, just, you know, Acknowledging all of the ick that, you know, is with this activity and being up at these hours and all the things that, you know, go on the side of, man, this isn't so great. But then you add up the other side of things of the benefits, why it is great. Um, and both, both lists can change on a regular basis, you know, and that's okay. You have permission for that. You know, not every run needs to be glorious. You know, you don't need to feel good about it all the time. <laughs> but again, it goes back to that staying power and persistence and just presence, all right? Of, hey, you arrived, you're there. Congratulations, man, that's that's fantastic. Um, I don't have any official statistics of, um, you know, we'll call it the, the US population. 
of that versus how many people are running. I mean, and even within that, you can like break it down, you know, various styles, but you know, that's not what we're doing here. I'm just thinking that not a lot of, I don't think a high, high, super high percentage of people are doing what we're doing. And so that's, that's something that you can use in your emotional bank account. All right, everybody. I just wanted to share that with you that, uh, hey, seek joy, spark it, ignite it. It's there. Even if it's not readily obvious, give it some time and it might show. All right. Thanks for watching.